Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome to my latest video. Well, I'm going to cover a little bit different of a topic related to computers and electronics today. It'll be quick. I just want to talk about static electricity and in particular, static discharge. You may not realize it, but your body can hold a pretty large amount of electrical charge. It's measured in terms of how much you can store in capacitance, basically turning you into a rechargeable battery almost. The size in capacitance is measured in something called farads, but a really small, you know, 10 to the minus 9 version of that, because then it goes uh, millifarads, microfarads, then picofarads, or billionths of a farad. Your human body is anywhere between 100 and 500 picofarads. Now, they may not sound like a lot, but it, it's multiplied out by the size of your body. So the larger your body is, over a wider distance, those picofarads are spread, and you can store more electrical charge. As a matter of fact, the average human body can store anywhere between 1 and 10,000 volts of charge. And in ideal conditions, it can actually be as high as 20 to 25,000 volts of charge. You ever walk over to a doorknob after walking on a carpet and then touching it? That shock that comes out? Well, that's done in less than one millisecond. And sometimes it, you can really feel it. Now, my fingers don't feel it. I have a particular situation that I've done so much electrical work and done so much work in general with my fingers that I have developed calluses. And the calluses actually increase your body resistance, which is counter to the charge that is stored. So it doesn't happen to me that much, which is, you know, I guess, sort of lucky. But I am in a room with carpet. Also, as the humidity gets very, very low, those become ideal conditions for developing static charge. It's really an imbalance between the electrons that are in your body versus the electrons that are in the carpet because you wound up walking across of it. Some of those electrons get transferred and they build up at one end or the other. So then when you go and touch something that is semi-grounded, it'll discharge on you. If you're wearing shoes, it's actually exacerbated because the shoes are very good insulators, especially rubber sole shoes. And that will lead to even a larger imbalance between you and the ground. Now, if you're dealing with electronics, like you're building your own computers, which I've shown several of on my channel here and more to come, then you want to be able to make sure that that static discharge does not go through any of your very high priced components, whether they're the CPU, memory dims, other cards that go into it, like your very expensive graphics processing unit or video card. You don't want to have that large of a voltage discharge going through from you through the component to a grounding source. Now, the quickest way to do it is for about four or five dollars, you can get a little wristband that you can put on your hand, tie it in, and then the other end has an alligator clip, stainless steel alligator clip. All you have to do with that is connect it to any large metal body, like this table here has a metal chassis to it. So if I just take it and connect it right underneath the table to that, then it would be grounded and I would be grounded so that the static discharge would not build up in my body. It would constantly be getting discharged through this connection. Now, if you really want to be careful like I am, you'll go ahead and put down a full static mat or at least a very large one. This table here that I do most of my work in my new studio here is the full size of this table, two foot by four foot. This is the table that rises and falls, as I've shown in a previous video. In my other backup studio, which was my <laughs> primary studio up until a couple of months ago, I have a smaller section to it, so I have a smaller anti-static mat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down in the comments of this video Amazon links, because I bought both of those in Amazon, in terms of how you can get some like that. They're not that expensive, you know, 20 bucks on average. So it's, it's not that bad and it protects you. So I can lie down very, you know, <laughs> expensive components that are electronic components to this table. And the table itself is connected through a wire over to the chassis of a larger table. So it will automatically keep this pad discharged at all time. Anything I put on here will be safe. And while my hands are sitting on it as I'm working, my body will get discharged as well. So it's very important to have something like this if you want to protect your equipment. I'm sure there's been a lot of myths out there about, you know, what static discharge can do. In small children, I know my granddaughter, it, uh, it actually gets her quite scared when she discharges into uh, something that she touches in the living room, which is where her playroom is while she stays with us. If you're older, you can still feel it, depending on what your body resistance is. Again, I don't feel it as much because I have a high resistance caused by the calluses in my tips of my fingers. And I've actually put meters to it and 
found out that my resistance is anywhere between five and ten times more than that of the average person that I know that I've tested as well, which include my family members and friends. So I just wanted to point this all out to you. If you wanted to calculate how much voltage you actually have, you'd have to measure your capacitance. You can use a, a, a capacitor measuring meter, which most of the ones that you buy today, a multimeter, will come with that capability. You know, put one probe in each hand, it'll tell you what your capacitance is. If you can find out what your capacitance is, then there's a formula. I won't get into all of the variables to it, but it's actually calculated as E equals one half your capacitance times the anticipated voltage squared. And there's a lot of factors that lead into that voltage squared, but you could start right off with the, you know, 10 to 20,000 volts and you'll be right in the ballpark. So anyway, I wanted to cover that in this quick little video here. And if you found anything that I've said useful, if you could consider subscribing to my channel, it would be very helpful. So until the next time, thanks and stay healthy and stay safe.